Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. We're gonna to be doing a full body massage, a little bit different. Um, we're actually gonna be doing uh, mostly with a thumper. So today I have a home medics thumper I've had for like probably five years. And this is one of my favorite ways to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. I thought it would be fun to do like some compressions and just some warm up of the soft tissue before starting with the thumper. So it's really nice if you can introduce your touch just nice and slow. So I'll usually just kind of place my hand and um, I'm also going to do some myofascial release, which is stretching the soft tissue and um, you usually do this with dry work. So I'm basically just moving my hands in opposite directions and um, I'm moving pretty slow. So myofascial work is sometimes something that you can't really see very well, but you can feel it um, happening. So just with a soft pressure, I'm moving my hands in opposite directions and just stretching that um, connective tissue along the spine. And I'm gonna start working my way into just decompression of the low back and just creating some more space in between these vertebrae. So it's not so much that I'm pushing down as I'm pushing away with both of my hands. to linger here for a good 10 to 15 seconds and don't worry if your hand slips a little bit you can just readjust and just um, remembering to keep my own spine as long as I can not just collapsing forward as I work and I'm gonna go in with um, another kind of stretch and working the middle layer of tissue a little bit as I press into the scapula. So it's kind of nice to, um, when you do these stretches, it's nice if you're not mechanical about it, like really just feeling from right to left and seeing you know, how everything might feel a little different. And just um, the more that I remember to breathe as the person giving the massage, the more I encourage my friend or client to, to just relax into breath and sensation. When you're giving massage, transitions are really important. So I try to kind of connect each thing that I do. So I'm just gonna come into a soft fist and I'm gonna work this um, piriformis a little bit, I'm not doing anything too um, deep, just warming everything up. And I actually really like doing these kinds of compressions over a sheet. Um, I just find that I have a better hold, especially on these erector muscles, but um, skin on skin works just fine. So right now I'm just using the heel of my hand to walk up that erector muscle. And I'm gonna do that a few times. And if you feel like it, you can even experiment with getting into this rotator cuff a little bit with the opposite hand. You can just kind of keep that hand a little more stationary if you'd like. And you can even go in with your fingers into that scapula. Work your way around the shoulder into that rhomboid a little bit. And 
I'm going to move to the opposite side. So if you'll notice, I'm using my opposite hand to work my way up the spine. So with these compressions, not, um, you know, rushing through them, just finding a nice pace. And again, just kind of scanning the body um, to see how things feel different from right to left. And um, Junie's mid thoracic spine is pretty um, tight, so I would kind of know if I were doing a um, you know, a massage with oil, some areas that I would need to focus on a little more. I'm just feeling my way around the shoulder. Maybe lingering a little bit longer on the spots that feel more tight. So again, I'm just kind of paying attention to these transitions. I'm going to go in with my thumb a little bit and just do some a little bit of trigger point work. I'm not doing anything too deep. And you can certainly do, you know, one hand at a time if you feel better with that or you can do both thumbs at the same time, opposite shoulders. And I'm going to start working my way into the front side of the shoulder. Okay, and I'm just going to work my way around the front side of the shoulder. And this area can be um, really sensitive and it's tight on most people. so. Just kind of reading the muscle and seeing what kind of pressure is necessary. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna work my way around um, that shoulder. It's really hard to access. Um, I'm not gonna say it's really hard. It's more challenging to access the scapula with the thumbs. It just takes um, a lot of thumb power, which I really try to be really mindful of overworking my thumbs. And again, just noticing the differences from right to left. And finally, I'm gonna just go in. And so with this move, you just wanna be sure that you're grabbing the muscle belly, you're not grabbing the skin. So I'm just going to grab hold and I'm going to start getting into these traps a little bit more. So if you know that your client um, is not comfortable with deep tissue, then just really be mindful here. Um, if I were using oil, my hands would be kind of sliding down, but I'm just kind of inching my way down and keeping my hands on that muscle belly. So um, just making sure that I'm not, you know, just giving her a big pinch. And if you're um, just gripping the skin, that's how it's going to feel. And I really like to take my time here. And so when I do this for round two, I just kind of like to take a second. I don't want to um, go right into that, that kind of pressure immediately. So just starting to work my way in. And again, just make sure that you're grabbing that muscle belly. And yeah, just maybe a little bit deeper this time. This is really great for the neck as well. And really holding Holding that pressure at the top of the shoulder where that tension tends to build up for a good 10 to 15 seconds. And 
And when I release, there's just a ton of fresh blood that flows into that muscle. It's really healthy. So I think that we're ready for the thumper at this point. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thumper on. If you have the Home Medics thumper, I always start at the lowest setting. Um, and again, this is something I like to do over clothes usually, but it works um, very good on skin as well. So I'm not gonna just rest the thumper. Does that tickle? Okay. Um, does that feel better? All right, so sometimes if um, your client or your Whoever you're working on is ticklish, um, adding a little bit more weight, so just letting the thumper rest can feel better. So I'm just kind of inching my way down the erectors, and sometimes the erectors are um, ticklish anyway. But is that okay? And just working my way down. And um, I really hope that you guys are learning something from this video. And um, there's actually a lot of great content on our Patreon um, platform. And I'd really like to invite you guys to check it out. Um, it's just a great way to access some exclusive content. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just work my way back up the spine. And like I was saying, um, Usually I like to do the thumper on clothing because you can just run the thumper, you know, smoothly up and down, but skin on skin, you kind of have to like inch your way up the spine. So what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that the thumper makes contact with all parts of this erector. And I'm just kind of pausing for a couple seconds as I work my way up. And when I was um, doing the compressions earlier, I noticed that Junie's mid thoracic on her left is quite tight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of flip around. It gets a little awkward as we get higher up. So um, here you just wanna make sure that you don't hit, um, you wanna stay right along the spine. And all about the transitions, guys. I'm just gonna turn and work my way down. And I'm actually gonna turn up the thumper a little bit. And I'm gonna work my way down. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna keep working my way down this erector muscle. And you know, you gotta remember that every body is different, so Really just stay tuned in to how your, um, you know, the person that you're working on is responding. And adjust accordingly. I know a lot of people, um, this can feel really nice in the um, glute area, so I'm just gonna kinda work my way into the glute and low back. So the low back can feel a little bit bony, so I like to just um, use a little bit less weight of the thumper. And I'm not gonna linger quite as long, I'm just gonna start working my way up. And the important thing with this is that you don't hit the um, spine, obviously, so I'm just making sure that I stay along that spine on the erector. And I'm just gonna do the same exact thing along this left side of the spine. This, um, this Home Medics thumper is older and it's kind of clunky. It's really big, so I actually have to just kind of look to make sure that I'm not hitting the spine um, with a thumper. I know that massage guns are kind of all the rage and this can be really nice with a massage gun as well. And this is just awesome for improving circulation and blood flow. It's also really nice if you don't have much experience giving massage, kind of a fail proof way to really help someone feel better. 
And I'm actually just going to linger a little bit longer in this area that I had mentioned. And sometimes when, um, you know, somebody um, is ticklish, it can be kind of a defense mechanism of a tight muscle. Not always, but um, I really like to just explore anywhere that's particularly ticklish because it can mean that it needs more work and not less. That's not always the case. And this actually feels really nice all the way up into the neck and the occipitals, but the face cradle needs to be down a little bit more. So I think that's good for now. All right guys, so now that the spine and the back is all taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and just go into the arms and the hands a little bit and even the neck. So you can do some really nice um, compressions all through the arms and um, just squeezing is always nice. I really like to um, get into that extensor in the front. Just getting into that kind of meaty part of the forearm as much as I can. And I'm trying to get on to the outside of the arm. I'm going to work my way into the rotator cup a little bit. Start working my way into the neck a little bit. So I'm just um, working my way up that upper trap and all the way into the neck. And I'm going to start kind of pulling my fingers in, getting into that occipital area a little bit. So this can feel really nice if you just hold it, but you know, just some kind of broader circles can feel really nice too. The thing is, um, you just have to be careful that you're not really smushing your your massage person person's face into the cradle or whatever you're doing massage on. So the key is to like do the circles as you're pulling towards you, not just pressing down. And I'm actually going to just work my way around the ears. It can feel really nice. Just doing little circles. It'd be a really nice way to end a massage. And just working my way back towards the occipitals be a lot of tension just above the occipital area. So if I were doing like an hour-long massage, I would, um, right now I'm already kind of feeling, you know, the spots from right to left that would need more attention, but that is not what we're doing today. And you can even go in with your thumb your way along this posterior neck area and you might even do a little bit of trigger point in that occipital area just pressing along that hairline more or less towards the spine and same thing on this opposite side I just think it's really interesting when you can kind of feel tightness from right to left and how each side is different. Just staying tuned in. And if we were to end there, it might be a little abrupt, so I think I'm just going to do 
a little bit of myofascial release, just stretching that soft tissue, that connective tissue, and ending how we started. And just a nice, luxurious stretch of the spine. Holding for a good 10 seconds. And that's it for today.